Hello everybody, it's Susan Phelps and Judy Atari. And today we are in Palmetto, Florida. We're visiting a brand new KB Homes community. And I mean brand new because there hasn't even been a house coming out of the ground yet, but they're having some sales and we're so excited. And Judy, do we dare mention why we're so excited about this community? The A word? The A word. Uh, I think so. Um, so for a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage home, um, they start in the low 300s, which to us is affordable. affordable. <laughs> okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way and actually it's something everybody needs to pay attention to because this community is going to fill a need for a lot of people and it's small so it's going to go fast and we want to give you all the details as soon as possible so that you can get in early because early adopters win the game you know and we'll be right back meanwhile subscribe like and give us a thumbs up oh that is the same thing isn't it <laughs> Hey, we'll be right back. <laughs> so where exactly are we? Um, as you know, we've been focusing on Manatee County and North Manatee County. So right now we are here. Um, we're almost into Hillsborough and on our way to Pinellas counties. But we uh, are off 41 where it connects with 275. So That's Tamiami Trail, right? 41, yep, 41 yeah. is Tamiami Trail. And then 275 will lead you up to St. Petersburg. And 75 will lead you north to Tampa or south to Bradenton and Sarasota. So if you work in any of those areas, it's an easy access, easy commute. Right over the bridge. So we are about to tour one of eight floor plans that are available out here. We are in their model 1637, which is a one bedroom, oh sorry, a one story home, 1637 square feet. This one is configured as a three bedroom with a den. It can also be a four bedroom model with two bathrooms. Let's go inside and check it out. As we enter the 1637, immediately to the side is the den. Um, here it's configured with French doors as an option. Um, this is where you would also have your fourth bedroom if you can figure it that way. It's got a nice bright window. Here they've added the cabinets. Great office setting. Moving down the hall, we come to the secondary bathroom, configured here with a tub and a shower surround. You can upgrade that to tile if you like. And there's many, many choices on countertops and things like that as well. Here it's shown with a standard laminate countertop. As we have here, we have our secondary bedrooms. They're both pretty similar. They have a reach-in closet, nice sliding doors, and the second bedroom coming here, which would be your third bedroom. Wired for the ceiling fan as well. And through here would be your two-car garage. Gee, let's focus real quick on this <coughs> chart here about the energy savings. So KB prides itself on being a Energy Star certified home builder. Uh, they're one of two in our area that really focuses on this. So here is your KB home score, and that's in the Energy, the HERS index. And here is the typical resale home. And then this is the HERS standard, the 100 standard. So there are significant savings. Um, you generally have a energy cost savings of about $100 a month on this size home. And, and that's they, significant over the years. Oh, definitely. And they do use all carrier appliances. And right behind Susan, our photographer today, is um, the access to that. So it's nice and easy a to get to. 15 Sears. 15 Sears, yes. That's cool. Yep. And then they have, the, it comes with the programmable uh, thermostat as well that is also um, 
Siri and wireless compatible for all those right. apps. Okay. As we move back into the entranceway or the foyer, we have a small hallway that leads us to the great room area. And here it shows the kitchen, and again, the 1637 model. They have upgraded the cabinets to a 36 inch height. It comes standard with 30, and it's got the laminate. Again, there's options for different laminate surfaces, different granites, and even a quartz option if you'd like that. But the standard is gonna be this laminate, and they have a lot of different colors to choose from, correct? Yes. And if you go with a really white countertop, you might want to choose an even darker cabinet that they have called Twilight. Comes with Whirlpool appliances. These are the standard appliances. You will need to supply your own refrigerator. Refrigerator, garage door opener, and... Washer and dryer. Washer and dryer. Those are the things that you would have to add to this home okay. to be complete. Off our kitchen, we have a pantry closet and our little talking garbage can. Isn't that so funny? You <laughs> open the door and the lid's up and <laughs> toss your stuff in there and it closes. There you go. And then right beyond here is the laundry room. And we know for busy moms, you're cooking dinner and doing laundry and everything, or busy dads, all at the same time. So, nice safe laundry room. Room for one of those counters that we've been seeing in some of the Yes, uh -huh. a nice folding table on the counter. Yeah, let's so let's uh, take a minute before we move on to the rest of the great room, is this vaulted ceiling option. This is an option. There is also the option of doing a nine foot, four inch tray ceiling, um, and that would raise all the ceilings in the home and would also provide for eight inch sliders and eight inch entry doors. So you would- Eight up foot. Eight foot, I'm sorry, eight foot. <laughs> It's for very tiny people. Uh, yeah, my family uses eight inch doors, uh, eight foot doors. <laughs> and then here, of course, we have our great room. We have our living area and our dining room. And we have sliders going out to a small pad. Right, this is the standard, it would be a concrete pad. Um, in the next home, we can show you there is a option to extend the lanai and it'll come with an acrylic coating um, and again in the future you can also make that even more extended add a screen things like that so moving on from the great room we head towards the owner suite on the way is a really nice big linen closet and with the proximity to the kitchen this could even be an extension of a pantry for you and then we're going to walk into the owner suite Directly off the bedroom is a really big walk-in closet. Really big, I mean, all this way. It's huge. Or huge, as my dad would say. <laughs> and then we come into the owner suite bathroom. Again, KB, um, even though they're an affordable home builder, they do pride themselves on having extensive options uh, and you really get to customize your home. So here it is shown with the upgraded tile on the bath. You can change this to a walk-in shower with glass doors. You can change this to a garden tub and a window and adding a shower where this linen closet is. There's all kinds of things you can do in here and make it your own. Versatile is the key word. First, yes, versatile. That's our word of the day. So our next model we're gonna show you is the 2107. It is a two-story model. It is three bedroom, two and a half bath with a two car garage at 2,107 square feet. Let's go inside. So now we're inside the 2107 and when you first walk in, there's a nice little foyer and there's a great coat closet on the way in. So you always need those in Florida. As you walk in, we have this nice living room area, a section that would fit well if you do a lot of hanging out and movie night, and a good sized dining area. I'm excited to show this home because it's got a lot of the upgrades that KB allows their homeowners to purchase. And it has those nine foot four ceilings throughout the first floor. 
Right. And so it allows for those eight foot sliders. Right, an eight foot front door. So everything, if you right. choose this elevated option, everything is elevated. And as we head towards the patio or porch area, they've extended it with the first option where they extend it and they've coated it with a nice acrylic coating. You can also make this longer and have a bigger patio area. Again, you could screen it in, add to the home. So we're now we're in the kitchen and this kitchen has a lot of the upgrades that, that really make these home uh, special and yours. First is the beautiful large countertop area. You could have four chairs here sitting at the bar. This has been upgraded with a nice black granite. It is upgraded with the 42 inch cabinets and they've also got an upgrade on the facing of them all. And the tile around the kitchen as far as the backsplash goes is an extended backsplash at the subway tile. All of those are options and it really makes this home have a much more rich feeling. Here it has the standard Whirlpool range vented microwave, which is important. And then again, you would bring in the refrigerator. Staying on the first floor, we come to a half bath. Again, this is a two and a half bath home. Convenient for your guests. And then the laundry room. There's definitely room for a folding table, hanging clothes, another little section. You could put hooks or dog beds, things like that right here. And here we have our two car garage access. So let's go upstairs. That's where all the bedrooms are. So coming up at the top of the stairs, we find this really nice loft area. It's an additional great room. Be a great spot for an additional office or desks. Gathering room. Also the fourth bedroom if you have to have a fourth bedroom. <coughs> exactly. And then here is one of the secondary bedrooms. Depending on the elevation you choose, this particular elevation provides for cute little window seats, which are nice. And then there's a walk-in closet in this secondary bedroom. And then next to it is the other secondary bedroom upstairs. Again, a walk-in closet. A little unusual for a smaller home to have such nice little walk-in closets for the secondaries. Out of the hall, we have the secondary full bath, linen, some of the options again could be applied here with a second sink, a tile surround, but now this is the way it would come standard. This is a granite countertop though, this is an upgrade as are the That's cabinets. Pretty. It is pretty. And it's nice that it's a little different than the kitchen, you don't have to do the same thing throughout. We've moved down through the loft area into the owner's suite, nice and wide. You could actually configure your bed on different walls. Sometimes you're stuck in one direction. And into the owner's bath. Here they've given you examples of the glass enclosed shower, the tile bathroom, They've added a quartz counter in here. And then beyond this owner suite, bathroom is the walk-in closet. As we mentioned on the, the first model, KB Home is an Energy Star certified builder, and this is the HERS index, talks about your energy efficiency. Here is your typical used home, resale home, and here is this 
particular model. It's a Hearst score of 57. And again, there's over $100 savings per month in this home, um, estimated annually about $1,300. And of course, that will multiply throughout the years. And again, the energy certified thermostats and digital remote and things like that. Well, we're gonna wrap this up and give you some more details about this cute little 147 home neighborhood. And we're, well, we talked about where the location was, yep. where, oh, the energy savings. The energy savings charts that we showed you are really informative. And it's all a combination of a lot of different things that KB Home uses. So basically, what, Judy? Um, so, well, part of it is the, the materials they use on the outside of the home, like the, si the siding and the radiant barrier right. in the roof that kind of reflects the heat and keeps the cool in. Um, the water heater, so it has a hybrid water heater. And the first time we visited a KB community, we weren't sure what a hybrid meant. And what the hybrid is doing is it's using some of the heat from your garage, which we know there's plenty, and using that to heat the water before it ends up using, uh, before it triggers and uses electricity. So it's really a very, a very efficient and smart way to do it. Um, the, the low emissions, the vinyl insulated windows and screens, um, not an energy efficient thing, but the neat thing, I love the windows, uh, we understand a lot of the big windows tip in for cleaning, which makes life a lot easier. <laughs> and you're no ladders on the outside. Yeah, no ladders. Um, but the way it's done, it's like a tight envelope and it, it keeps the, the cool energy in and the hot energy out. And the building products on, the, on this, if it's a two-story home, on the first floor it's going to be block. And then the covering on the second floor is a cement board. Everybody has their names for it, the different producers. But we put that hardy board, that's what we called it when we bought it, on the outside of our home. And we, we haven't even done anything in 10 years. It's just like new. So, so it's, it's good for durability and for moisture. Uh -huh. the moisture out. So they're, they're calling their homes healthy, energy efficient homes. And I really like the healthy part because the indoor air quality, they, right. they focus on that. They use that, we mentioned a 17 sear, 15, 15, 15 sear uh, ventilation system with their 15 sear um, AC. And they use the low VOC volatile organic compounds <laughs> so they use low voc paints and uh, cabinets etc so that you don't have that mm -mm. circulating in the air and carpet carpeting the yeah. carpeting is low voc too so well, yeah. that all sounds really good yeah. for anybody, really. Right, anybody coming in. Um, you know, even though we love the outdoor lifestyle, when we're inside in Florida, a lot of times we're all closed in with the air, so that healthy air quality is important. Right. We were in the sales office before we uh, started filming, and a family came in. The son brought his parents here, and they wanted a small home. He was bringing them from out of the States, and they didn't want to live with him and his family, so they were looking for a small home. The 1376 being Something. the smallest. Yes. And they wanted an even smaller yeah, home. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> they only wanted two bedrooms. Yeah. So we said, make it a den and just close the doors. <laughs> den, man cave. So. so let's see, what are we doing about lot oh, allocation? Lot allocation. So right now, they haven't been able to sell a lot yet because they're still um, oh, going. Oh, no. They were able to sell oh, 10. Still two, oh, 10, yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so um, they're waiting to finish uh, some processes with the county, which is any day now. Their plat approval. Plat approval, right. So they were allowed to do like, yeah, up to 10% or something. Yeah, something And like so now they're raring to go. Um, they have been releasing two a month. Two a, a week. week. Two a week. And so that's exciting. Um, they have a list, but I think once the initial list gets through, it'll be manageable. Um, they will go quick. We think that this yeah. neighborhood will sell quickly. You have to have $500 to get on the list. 
and that's they never cash that check. Right. They just hold it. So it's just a it's just a way for you to show your level of interest. If you um, leave them with that check, then they look at you in a more serious yep. um, as a more serious buyer. We're looking at build time of two, ten months. Ten two months. months. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> no, months, nobody yeah. wants a house that was built in two months. Also, when we were talking about the $500, to actually begin your contract, it's a $5,000, which is better. Some communities That's are requiring amazing. 10 to 20%. So right. it's 5000 to get started on your contract. Um, that may go up slightly if you get incredibly excited in the design center and you spend a lot more money. But other than that, you can get in this home for $5,000 down. Um, With a KB lender yes. approver, right. approval. Right. So that's, that's all very... Yep. Yep. Very flexible. And the um, there's no CDD, our favorite no thing. CDD. No CDD. CDD. <laughs> uh, no... Um, yeah, development grant. And the HOA? $90 a month. So, and that includes your irrigation, which can be quite expensive to pay for water down right. here. Right. Um, the, the community maintenance, it will include a pool. Um, it'll be pool and bathrooms at the pool, um, but not an extensive amount. Like an over cabana with the yeah. bathrooms attached. Yeah. They're going to have sidewalks on both sides of the street. Now, this community is surrounded by other residential communities so that's really nice yeah. they're gonna they're gonna uh, bury the the uh electric yes the power lines so yeah. that'll be nice yep. and um if you're building in some of the other north manatee communities that we mentioned um like this the one family um uh, that we just mentioned they are in a nearby community that we did a video from recently and the fam the parents are coming over here. So you might have, you know, a retired family and the, the children or grandchildren want to move nearby. Right. Um, this is a great option for first time home buyers yeah. as well. Yeah. So what else do we have to share? Mm -hmm. We have um, oh this the sales rep says most people, even when they go to the design center and they choose some of the options they usually spend about 10 percent of the base price in addition then you have your lot premium right. which could be zero right could right. be zero up to 15 grand fifteen thousand right. dollars for a lot and those are going to be on the lake there's about 40 of those right we're going to show you a oh well we've already done that <laughs> <laughs> so i guess we're our work is done here. Yes, <laughs> I think we are done. So if you've got any interest in uh, a great community to move into at a very affordable, affordable price. With versatile options. Lots of options, people. I mean, their design center is going to knock your socks off. So give us a call. Definitely. Email, text, call. We will call you back, and we would love to help you find your forever Florida home. Until the next time, bye-bye.